Well, I had somebody ask uh, how to replace these window switches in the vehicle saber. So I figured I'd bring down this panel <coughs> and grab myself a, a switch panel and show you how it's done. Uh, first thing you want to do is grab your skinniest screwdriver and put it in right there at the uh, front end towards the front of the vehicle. You're going to want to push it in a little ways and you're going to pry back like that. And what you're trying to aim for <coughs> is to push this down. I don't know if you can see that real well, but you want to get your screwdriver in there in between and push that back so it unclips. And then uh, the other end it just slides out like that. So once you have it out, you'll flip it over or whatever you can and you'll start taking these switches off, the little plugs. These are pretty easy. You just uh, put a little screwdriver in there and pry them back and pull them off. The only one that <coughs> doesn't bend so much is this one here for the uh, uh, power seats. These ones don't bend so much, so you got to kind of be careful with that one. But once you're done with that, you are ready to take out the power switch or the power window switch. All right, now that we've got the uh, switch out. The panel it's time to take this out now I would suggest bringing it in the house if it's cold outside and letting it warm up for a while <coughs> because the uh, you know the cold plastic has a much higher tendency to break when you're prying on it so warm that up if you can and uh, what I like to do is take a, a thick feeler gauge and I'm going to want to get it behind here there's a little tabs on both sides you got to get to so I like to slide it in there a little bit thinner one maybe be easier there, 21 thousandths that work and you get it in there and you slide it in so it pops those tabs off and then you pry up like that and it, and it pops now you can do this with a, a saw blade real skinny or whatever you have handy you can use a screwdriver but I would be real careful because if you break this the, you know the window switch won't hold in and it's, it's really a big pain in the butt but now you've got that out and uh, you can go ahead grab the new one and just slide it in like that push it down plug everything back in put it back in the car and you're good to go